Hey Noah, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. L listen, you know how I told you a while back that I was gonna do a really cool video about uh, you um, moving? Why? Well, today I decided that I was gonna go ahead and do that, but I need your help to start it. You ready? Yeah. All right. I want to tell you guys a story about friendship, but before I do that, I need to preface this video with a few minor points. Number one, no one is dying, no one dies, no one is dead. It's not that serious of a story, okay? It's nothing like that. Two, this video is a second attempt of a video that I tried to make a couple months ago, but it ended up being too depressing and I just couldn't put it up. And number three, this video itself is not a sad video, and it's not intended to be a sad video. This video is a celebration of friendship, and it's to show how to go through difficult times with friends. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I find the best place to start a story is at the beginning. So let's head there. Now let's go ahead and go back to the summer of 2015. Me and my family had just moved churches, another story for another day, and we had landed at Old Fort Baptist Church. We settled down there and my mom got a job in children's ministry. Fast forward another year and we're in 2016. It was close to the beginning of school and this was going to be my first year in middle school. At this point at church, I'm in a class with a bunch of other middle school guys. And that's when Noah steps into the picture. But at this point, I didn't really know him very well and we didn't talk at all. I would occasionally see him at school or in band class, but other than that, we had no interaction. Fast forward another year and through the horror that was sixth grade, ah! and now we have friendships starting to form. It really wasn't until seventh grade that me and Noah actually started connecting. We both had the same sixth period, which was typing class. Since we had already seen each other at church, we began to talk. We mainly made fun of how bad our teacher was and ridiculous rules that she created. I remember uh, one time, didn't she say that we would like get extra points if we wore like nice clothing on Wednesdays or something like that? Yeah, and you couldn't wear like jeans. It had to be khaki pants and all that mess. Extra points if you dress nice. Extra points for just looking like you're a professional. Luckily, we had some experience in typing and so we got our work done quickly and were allowed to play some video games. We played games like Five Nights at Freddy's, Minecraft, and we created some awesome inside jokes that only we could understand. One of them was like, hashtag so many jungle biomes, where we kept spawning in jungle biomes. Oh, uh, that, that was ridiculous. As we kept playing, we kept getting closer and closer as friends, until we were best friends. And for the rest of the school year, we did some pretty awesome things together. We went on an awesome scavenger hunt. We went to Atlanta together. We went to Carowinds together. We both played some paintball. We would hang out at church events all the time. And over the summer, we would just call and talk about how our day was going. Everything was awesome. But then all at once, everything wasn't so awesome. No one had told me that there was a strong possibility that he was going to have to move and it was going to be pretty far away. So, my dad is the new first sergeant in the Air Force here and he got selected to come here and he gave us like five or six different options that we could possibly go to and we and he got to list them in how, what order he wanted, like the highest he would choose for to go to. The first one was Alaska, I think. You know, the second one was Illinois, Delaware was third, fourth one was um, Japan or something like that, mm -hmm. and we ended up in Illinois. And I was in shock. It was just a time of utter confusion and sadness. I was really unsure of how to react to it. Really, none of those places were a place that I could really access him very easily. That's when I was in a really tough place. I was upset and frustrated that this whole thing was happening out of the blue, and yet I still just wanted to be a supportive friend 
and not make it about myself because I knew that what he was going through was a lot worse. He told me that he was going to have to leave November 17th and that only gave me about a month left with him. Throughout that month, I really had to realize that what was happening was a part of God's plan. I had to have the mindset that the friendship wasn't ending, it was just changing. And that that's hard to swallow. A month seemed to go away like that, and it was already time for us to say our goodbyes. I wanted to make a special video for him because he had impacted my life so greatly, so I tried to film our last day. We didn't really do anything too crazy. We went to school like normal, and then afterwards we went to Panera Bread to get some late lunch. We went to get Sweet Frog, and then they went to drop me off, and we had to say goodbye. Goodbyes were said, hugs were given, tears were shed. Backpacks were returned after leaving them in the back of the car, and that was it. He moved to Illinois, and I stayed here in South Carolina. This person, this human that I had met and had become a part of my life that I would never forget, just being taken away, just like that. About a week later, I tried to make his special video, and it ended up looking something like this. Uh, yeah. My parents said that it was way too sad and that I needed some time to reflect and try again later. So here I am, almost two months later, and I have to say that I feel much better. Because like I said, this isn't a sad story. This story is a celebration of what our friendship was and still is today. This whole ordeal has made our friendship stronger than ever. The fact that we have to fight for our friendship every day, despite being 808 miles apart, makes us appreciate our time even more. Every day, we either FaceTime or text each other or even play video games with each other, and it's some of the best times that I have in my day. I'm so thankful for technology today that allows us to stay connected and I'm so thankful for such an awesome friend. Because meeting this one person has opened up so many doors in my life. I got to meet and make another great friend named Graydon. He introduced me to some awesome video games that we play with each other today. He helped me to get more involved with our church. He introduced me to some awesome YouTubers that inspire me to make these videos. He gives me awesome video ideas to use in the future. And overall, he's just really helped me grow in my faith. You know what? Thank you for brightening up my day and my life. I am praying for you in Illinois, and I know you're going to do great things in the name of Jesus. Even though this is where I stopped talking, I know that our story isn't over. Thank you guys for watching this video and listening to a story about an amazing friend. I hope that you will pray for Noah and his family in Illinois as I am, and just send them your support. They, they would really appreciate that. In the future, I hope to be able to tell more stories and do things like this, and just let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. Noah, you started this video. I want you to finish it too. This is the part where Isaac says, God bless and goodbye.